Dylan Bolbeck for the prosecution. May I proceed? You may. Please say your name, spelling your last for the record. Corey Hyde, H Y D. Can you tell us how you're involved in this case, Ms. Hyde? I'm Avery Bancroft's personal assistant. Can you tell us what kind of responsibilities come with working for Mr. Bancroft? I manage his calendar, I schedule his meetings, I answer his phone calls, I did other administrative tasks. But I knew Bancroft very I knew Bancroft very well. He was my boss. Did you work on any proposals for Mr. Bancroft? Yes. He let me help prepare the new proposal for the casino. And was was this proposal a big deal? Yes. Can you please tell us why that is? The Gambling Commission only gave out once a decade, and this year Midland was giving out one. And what did you have to go through to get a casino bid in Midlands? You have to get two, yes, folks. You have to get two out of three of the commissioners to vote for your bid. And can you tell us who those three commissioners were? Harper Walton, Riley Geis, and Chase Covington. Now, who was the head of that commission? Chase Covington. Can you tell us a little bit about Chase Covington? Well, I don't know him very personally, but he often comes to the casino. To gamble. You see him do anything at, this, at the casino besides gamble? Um, on April the 13th, I set up a meeting between him and Bancroft. Did you go to that meeting? Yes, I did. Would you mind telling us how that meeting began? Well, it began as usual. Bancroft was given the same variation and the same pitch as he did in the previous meeting. But then Covington didn't seem that convinced. Now, what do you mean he didn't seem convinced? Well, halfway through Bancroft's pitch, Covington said, that's all well and good, but what do you Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. That's fine. Yes. Your Honor, this is a, a statement from Chase Covington, and, say, and Chase Covington is our party opponent in today's case. Pursuant to 801D2, this means that his statements are admissible in court today. Response? Uh, Your Honor, these statements are going for the truth of the matter asserted. Uh, that's... Your response? Yep. Uh, Your Honor, they are going for the truth of the matter asserted, but 801D2 is an exception to hearsay, meaning that because Chase Covington is our party opponent, we can still get these statements and it, it, it is admissible. May I be heard? Yeah. Uh, pursuant to state uh, case law, State v. Owens, uh, I believe that they're trying to develop a co-conspiracy. Until they lay the proper foundation, these statements must be constructively redacted because um, they haven't laid proper foundation for co-conspiracy. That's fine. Yeah. Your Honor, we're simply discussing a meeting between Chase Covington and Avery Bancroft. We have not mention any conspiracy at all yet. Exactly, Your Honor. Since they haven't laid any foundation for conspiracy, they cannot enter these statements. Um, I'm going to sustain that and just bring a little bit more of the conspiracy in before I allow those questions. Move to strike all elicited testimony. Um, testimony about that would be stricken. Thank you. Now, I'd like to discuss with you a briefcase that Chase Covington asked about at a meeting. No. Objection around the leading. Can I respond? Yeah. Um, I did not imply yes or no response with that question. Me is not a leading question. Uh, just restate your question, please. Um, did Chase Covington ever ask Avery Bank about a briefcase? <coughs> and what did he ask? Covington asked Bancroft that he was going to need another briefcase. Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. There still hasn't been any proper foundation laid. And that's know. per to your pre previous ruling. Testament to that's fine. We're trying to lay that foundation currently. Uh, I'm going to overrule it for right now. Would you like me to re ask that question? Yes, please. Did Chase Covington ever ask Avery Bancroft about a briefcase? No, he didn't. So you're saying Chase Covington never did ask Avery Bancroft about a briefcase? Yes, he did. And what did he ask? Avery Bancroft asked Chase Covington I'm sorry, can you say, can you say the question again? Yes, I asked you what Chase Covington asked Avery Bancroft about that briefcase. Chase Covington asked Avery Bancroft that he was going to need more reasons for his briefcase. 
What do you do after Chase Covington asked that David Bancroft? I went and got the replace that. And did you ever see that briefcase again? Yes, I seen that briefcase on April the 16th. And where did you see it? I seen it with Avery in his office. And how do you know it was the same briefcase that Chase Covington asked for? The shipping box was sitting next to it on Bancroft's desk, and I also seen the receipt with the office credit card number on it that I used to purchase it with. Uh, what was he doing with that briefcase? He was sticking stacks of bills inside of it. And what currency were those bills? Hundreds. How much money would you say he put into that briefcase? He at least put 200000 just while I was standing there. Now, I'd like to bring you back to a meeting I earlier mentioned on the 13th. Can you tell us how that meeting began? It began as usual. And what happened after? Um, Covington, he didn't seem really interested in it. What do you mean he didn't seem interested? Well, while Bancroft was giving his pitch, he said that he was going to, uh, he said that that's all well and good, but what do you have for me? Did anything noteworthy happen after that? Yes. Bancroft reached under his desk and pulled out a black briefcase. And was that the briefcase that you mentioned earlier? Yes. No, I'd like to bring you back to that briefcase. After you saw Avery Bancroft putting money into that briefcase, what did he do with it? Later on, after he put the money into the briefcase, he went to a meeting. And what happened at that meeting? At that meeting, Chase Covington was supposed to show up, but he didn't show up, so Avery took the briefcase and left. Oh, did he come back? Yes, about an hour later. Did he have the same briefcase with him? Yes, it was the same briefcase, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if there was anything in it or not. So to be clear, you aren't sure whether it was the same briefcase? Yes. Now, did Chase Covington vote for Avery Bancroft's proposal for the new casino? They voted for the, they approved the casino bid. And to be clear, did Chase Covington vote for Avery Bancroft's uh, proposal? They voted in favor for the new casino. But did Chase Covington vote in favor of it? Yes. No further questions.